Well, uh, she... <laughs> the Hunger Games Catching Fire, or as I would just call it, Catching Fire, is the second installment in the Hunger Games franchise. And what it, it's basically just PETA and Katniss, it's following them after they have won the games in the first one and just ha how they have to adapt to life and then certain events unfold and you have the quarter quell which is the 75th Hunger Games and that that's that's all you need to know going into this movie. Now I, I love the Hunger Games books, I have read all of them, uh, Catching Fire is my favorite book. It was it's it's compared to The Empire Strikes Back uh, in regards to how it is and I agree with that statement it definitely is like that and I was really hoping that the movie would be able to capture that feel and make it just feel as epic as it was and I am honestly I was disappointed somewhat in the original Hunger Games movie but this one yes they did change things but honestly I was not disappointed with this movie I was I love this movie. If I try and go over the entire cast, I'm gonna be here for hours, so I'll just nail down some points that I really felt stood out. Jennifer Lawrence as Katniss did even better in this movie than she did in the first one. She has a lot of emotional scenes in this movie and she just hits them so well, as does Josh Hutcherson as Peta. He does a great job in this movie, way better than the first one. And I liked him in the first one, I just felt he did a much better job in this one, showing his hurt. Liam Hemsworth was good in this movie, uh, Jesus Christ. Philip Seymour Hoffman was a great addition to the cast, as was Sam Caff... Caffe... Caffe... Sam Claflin as Finnick, I thought did a great job in this movie. Finnick was one of my favorite characters in the books, and I was worried at first about how he was gonna portray him, because I didn't really know much about him, but he did a great job in this movie. I just, Jenna Malone was good in the movie, uh, Donald Sutherland was as evil as ever. There's probably people I'm missing, but everyone in the cast did a great job in this movie. I didn't find a weak link at all. Now, the director of this movie is Francis Lawrence, and he's done movies like I Am Legend and Constantine. And when I first heard that Gary Ross wasn't coming back for this movie, I was a little bit angry because I thought he did a good job with the original Hunger Games. But re-watching it, I, I definitely see the shaky cam and how unnecessary it was. So I, I eventually I got kind of glad that he left and Francis Lawrence directs this movie so well. He did a great job. In, especially in regards to just cinematography, how he, he does it. There are some wide epic shots that are amazing. There's there's almost no shaky cam. There's like one or two specific shots I remember where it was a little bit shaky. But other than that, you can see what's going on the whole time, even during the action sequences. The only thing I would say is shaky, really shaky is the end, but that's kind of needed and I'm not going into that. I just loved seeing them be able to hit all the main points from the book that I loved and see it on the big screen. There are some scenes that I really wanted to see in the book or from book to screen that I saw and it was just so great. As a fan of the books, it's great to see things that you remember and actually see them portrayed on the screen big screen and portrayed accurately. And this movie isn't like a full-on action movie. The games happen and the, that's maybe about the last hour or so I would say, but there's not even that much, well there's a lot of action in that portion of time, but back to my point, this movie, it's a lot about how people are dealing with the act of defiance that Katniss had against the capital in the 74th Hunger Games. That's what this movie deals a lot with, the fallout of that, how they're starting to have riots, how people are starting to get restless, how the capital is starting to bring in so many more peacekeepers into all the districts to try and keep them all under control. It's just, it's, you can tell that something's gonna happen soon, and that's what I love about this movie, how it's just, it's all, it's catching fire, it's, it's, okay, I was gonna say bubbling up and, you know, gaining momentum, but catching fire is the, it's the best way to describe it. And yeah, the games themselves, it just, it was amazing, it was so well realized, especially at the beginning when you have them all in that structure at the beginning that, I don't want to spoil just in case someone doesn't know what it is. It's just, it's great to see. And all the different obstacles in the games, they were so well done. It was great to watch. It was intense. And by the end, I was just, my heart was pounding and I was waiting for that one moment in the books that made my jaw drop. And it was amazing. They did it perfectly. I love this movie. I'm gushing a little bit, yes. But honestly, I don't, I don't care. I loved this movie. I loved Catching Fire. It is the best book, uh, it's the best book, it's the best movie so far, it'll probably be the best movie overall, knowing Mockingjay, but nevertheless, I just, 
Catching Fire. I j I'm giving it an A+. I don't care. It's it's so good. I can't, I can't wait to go see it again. And I just... I, I'm very excited for Mockingjay now. I want to see how they're going to be able to do that. So, if you guys have seen Catching Fire, what did you think of it? Did you enjoy it? Did you not enjoy it? If you haven't read the books, how did you feel? Uh, actually, I'll ask that in the spoiler review that's coming out. Never mind. Would you guys, which movie did you like better? The, the first Hunger Games or Catching Fire? Write your beautiful comments down there and tell me what you think. And if you like this video, hit that subscribe button down there. Because if you don't, I'll, I'll catch fire literally and I'll die.